Boom, my name is Kim, and today we're going to be taking a look at the second part of how we can replace an object in your composite. And this is going to be really quickly here. We're going to replace this image with a different one. We're just going to use the rectangular marquee tool and then turn on the lights of this lamp. So let's get to it. If you like this tutorial, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave your comment down below if you would like to see how we can replace this window here. And... Uh, turn on this lamp as well. It's a little bit different to turn on this one compared to this one and This one has a perspective change on it. So let me know in the comments and we'll get to it now Cool, so here we are just to make sure you mark your top here. And you're gonna zoom in I'm gonna hold on spacebar to move around Go grab your rectangular marquee to go up in one corner and then just go down here. You can see that looks pretty darn good. Control shift I invert that selection. We're going to hit this mask layer there. Now we can see we have that image here. So control D deselect. I'm going to hit V. I'm going to mark this here uh, layer. Control G to group it. Open it up. Go down to that image again. Now you can move it and place it whichever way you want or stretch it or whatever you want to do there. So I'm going to leave it like this. That's done. But now we've got to add that same familiar shadow line. So just grab a marquee tool again. Go down. And then hit your fill bucket, hit D on your keyboard to reset your color palette, and then brush it there. Now I'm going to go here and go over soft uh, light on the blend modes. Control D to deselect, go up to filters, blur, and we can do uh, box blur on this one so you can see the difference. And I find that about 6.6 .6 here is good. So around six six to seven that's good and then I'm gonna just drag it in just a little bit so now that's done cool let's turn on the light here on the lamps I'm just gonna collapse these layers make another layer up top you're gonna zoom in and then control plus to zoom hold on spacebar to move around now we're gonna hit P to grab the uh, pen tool we're just going to mark it up there, mark it there, and then drag and click, drag, hold. Try to match that curve, hold down Alt, get it in a direction that matches the angle there. Going to take it up there, take it about there, and up again. Okay, so now we're going to need to make this a selection. I'm going to go up here to select and feather and I'm gonna put on that's a whole lot of feather we <laughs> I'm gonna use type in so we're gonna put in five pixels for feather okay like so now I'm gonna go get the fiddle bucket here again and I'm gonna drag over to get about a bright yellowish color like so yellowish white perfect now I'm going to change, um, I'm going to do here control D, deselect it, we're going to go filter, blur, and we're going to do a box blur, there we go, apply that one, I'm going to move this up again a little bit, like so, now we're going to change here to um, soft light, like so. Okay, and then we're going to add another layer here. I'm going to double click this one here, so that's good. And well, while holding down control, so we get that selection again. Okay, so now I'm going to hit B on my brush tool here, and we're going to make sure we're painting with white, so you can hit D to reselect. I'm going to There, now I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger. 
And we're going to zoom out, control the control minus, and the cool. And I'm going to make the brush just a little bit bigger again. Uh, smaller, I mean, control D, deselect, hit V, and I'm going to now use uh, on the white layer just a regular Gaussian blur here. Like so, hit apply. I'm gonna change over to soft light again. We're gonna stretch this out just a little bit, but we wanna stretch both of them. So make sure you shift click both, control G to group them. <clears throat> and now we can see we can't have it go over there, but that's fine and it can't be on top. So now you just add a mask to it. Hit B, make sure you have a reasonable size dx on the keyboard to change over to black because now we want to hide and then you go like this on your and you can always go flow here and hardness up to make it a little bit faster that was a bit too much and we can't have um, the light go past there so I'm just gonna a different way you can do this is here I'm gonna get my flow back down to 20 that's good and this down to 20 we're gonna be on that mask I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard I'm gonna go here type it on the sides there And then I'm just going to go like this, select, then hit delete. But I'm going to make sure we're on this one. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. And we're going to do that one more time here. So let's go. I'm going to go in the middle there. That's good. Hold on, Alt. Make sure we keep going over there. That's good. Selection. Make sure we're on the layer. Just take that off. Good. Now we're going to go here. We're going to make sure we get this right. I'm just going to do one side at a time. Um, I got to make sure I'm on, or you got to make sure you're on the mask. You can delete it. Control D to shift. And then select. Make sure you're just on the mask. Hit your backspace key. And then we can go and do here and do this perfect selection. Make sure you're on this one. Control D, hit V on your keyboard. We're going to zoom out. Control zero. That's a bit much. So we can always go here and then do. Just drag down the opacity a little bit, about maybe 50% or so. There we go, but I don't ex like it, so I'm going to make sure I have my my brush here and set to black. So I'll just go zoom in a little bit. that line is too hard and same over here it's easier if you have a 
Wacom tablet to do this. I have mine hooked up right now. I'm just doing this on a mouse. And then I gotta get it. Like so. Now we have that light turn on. And that's how you can easily turn on the lights and replace that um, the image on the wall. You just replace an object. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And let me know in the comments down below again if you want to see re the replacement of this uh, background here. And turn on this light as well. I'll see you all next time.